me start my story. Now this guy has just completed the university and at this point I wasn't looking for a job per se. I loved electronics. I had done my final year project was a home automation system using GSM technology. So I had um, I had done a, a home automation system, you know, open curtains using your phone. That time we didn't have GSM modules, the one that you're using now. So we ma I managed to do the project. It was good. I was like, ah, I'm going to make a product and sell it out there. Until this day, one of my friends calls me. So Simon calls me. Hello, Kimali. I have a problem. Are you able to make a fleet management system for me? So I was like, um, you know what, Simon? I have never even used Google Map APIs. I have never even opened uh, a server. I don't know how to use that. But anyways, you know, it costs nothing for me to try. So I will try. And uh, if it works, good. If it doesn't, then sorry. So I started doing it. So it was a challenge. Within one month, I had something. I had already set up a fleet management system. It wasn't the best because the moment we transferred the vehicles to the fleet management system, we started seeing a lot of errors. You know, the system would crash within 30 minutes. You know, the guy would call me, the system is down. I restart the server. And then 30 minutes later, the guy calls me again. So what did I do? I created a script in the server that would restart the server after every 30 minutes so that he stops calling me. Then, yeah, that's what I did. Then I was like, hmm, actually it works. But then he called me like, you know, guys are being log logged out of the system. Like, can you work on something? And I was like, okay, maybe I need to give it some more time. So, okay, after a few weeks, we had a very stable system. And, you know, he lost a few customers, but later he was able to even gain more customers with that system. So as I was doing that, uh, my friend Simon called me and told me, listen, there's this company who need a solution, software and hardware solution. They are my friends, and I know you can handle it. So where does Simon take me? Dalcom Kenya. Dalcom Kenya, they are the makers of the Omata Speed Governors. So I go there, the guys have a problem with their firmware, and they tell me, can you solve this problem? And I told them, yeah, I can do it. Uh, for how much? Um, okay. I told them, ah, that's half a million. I thought that I had, you know, hit a jackpot. And then they said, you can solve it for half a million? And, you know, I was like, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. So they were like, so they looked at Simon and they were like, okay, fine. So we'll give him the job. And, you know, if he doesn't do it, like, we'll blame you, Simon. And Simon was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know he can do it. So they wrote me a check, half the amount, and I was like, ah, now I have good money. So we did the thing. In two weeks, we delivered. And I was there, gave it to them, they tested, and they were like, you are good. And I was like, yeah, that's me. So they said, okay, fine. You know what? Um, we'll give you the other half, and we'll add you 200K on top. So we continued the discussions, and then they were like, okay, since you have shown us how good you are, how good are you in hardware? And I told them, better than software, because that was my thing, you know, it was, it's true, better than software. And then they told me, okay, fine, we would like you to start making for us um, the Omata Speed Governors.
and I was like, yes, that's the thing. So I started making speed governors. So there's a question that you asked about, you know, products in Kenya. So now, these speed governors that we made, we made sure that the speed governors meet the standards, Kenyan international standards as well. And they became the best the best selling speed governors in the market. We had better speed governors, you know, some which had machine learning, AI, and all those things. You know, they were even better, more sophisticated than our speed governors. But we had to, to look at several things. First, have we addressed the need of the user? Yes, we have. Number two, the market. So who is our market? The market is the matatu industry. So what did we do? We looked at the market and we were like, um, we are not going to do the installations of the speed governors. We have to make something that is so easy that any mechanic can actually install. And what do we do? We make these mechanics our agents. So that is designed for manufacturing. So we did that, we, we produced uh, thousands of the speed governors in China. We were able to sell these speed governors. We were able to use these mechanics as our agents. And that's how we commanded a very big share of the market, which was 40%. You can imagine 60% was being shared amongst um, about 30, 39 companies and one company is commanding 40%. That was a very big market share. So <clears throat> now, um, after making this product, I went ahead and made other products as well. So basically, uh, when it comes to, to making products, there are so many things that go into this uh, product development. So there are so many products I haven't talked about, but so many things go into product development. And one thing uh, the system won't tell you, or rather it's not, they don't insist, is that you need soft skills. You need soft skills for you to make it in this, you know, business. So the system will train you to be very good engineers. I have seen that. I have done a lot of interviews. I have hired a lot of guys. I have seen engineers who are very good. You know, when you come to product development, you are really good at it. You can even talk, I don't know, you can do the most sophisticated things ever. But when it comes to just soft skills, how do you handle a customer? How do you talk to someone who wants to see the value add in your product? So most of the engineers start talking jargons you know customers don't want to to hear that and they are not interested at all in those jargons so when i started this presentation i just told you what i did you know one of my ways to to improve on my soft skills is learning languages i learned these languages i love languages I love acting, I love writing plays, I love, you know, uh, learning different cultures. You know, when you visit a place, you learn the culture, you, and you will realize that technology resonates with the, with the culture. Because whatever works here in Kenya does not have to work somewhere else. But in other countries, when you go and learn the culture, even in languages, you will realize that these countries also have a culture which is very different from ours. And that's why if you go take a pressure to those countries, it won't work. Okay. So that's it. Um, I think uh, that's my time.